Hi, I'm Chris Johnston from Work Visa Lawyers, and welcome to our Australian immigration videos. We are one of Australia's largest immigration law firms and have a team of immigration lawyers and registered migration agents who can help you. Work Visa Lawyers is proud to be a multilingual company with lawyers and agents who can speak Mandarin, Vietnamese, Punjabi, Portuguese, and Tagalog. If you'd like us to help you, please hit subscribe and the bell to get notified of our latest videos. I've met with thousands of students, migrants and employers over the last 16 years. In today's video, I'll give my opinion of the top eight courses to study for Australian PR in 2022. Australia has been well known for exceptionally high quality education and a great lifestyle. Four of its cities, Adelaide, Perth, Melbourne and Brisbane, being in the top 10 livable cities globally. Many students want to settle in Australia and to get an Australian permanent residency. Before choosing suitable courses to study, you may need to understand how to get Australian PR. Please refer to other videos that we've made, like how to get PR in Australia in the link above. For students, there's two main streams to get Australian PR. The first is skilled visas, such as the subclass 189, the 190, and the 491. And the other is employer-sponsored visas, such as the subclass 482, the 186, and the 494. A qualification by itself cannot get you Australian PR. In most states, you need to be working in order to get your nomination. Now let's get into the top eight courses to study for PR in Australia in 2022. Number eight motor mechanic courses. Trade workers are in very high demand in Australia. If you have a good plan, you can get permanent residency in Australia on a budget. You may look to studying a certificate three or four in automotive. This is usually a two year full-time package study, including certificate three, certificate four, and a diploma. Occupations on the medium term list related to motor mechanics are automotive, electrician, motor mechanic and diesel motor mechanic. Usually, your job ready program can be used for skills assessment and to get state nomination. The salary for a diesel motor mechanic can be up to 120,000 per annum in remote locations. And the median salary for a diesel mechanic would be something like $80,000 per year, which is slightly above an average salary in Australia. Number seven, health and welfare support workers. There are many occupations with lower skills levels than social workers, which have excellent pathways to Australian PR. These include community worker and disability support officer. During the pandemic, those skilled workers are in shortage more than ever. Starting with just a diploma can also give you opportunities. However, it is more straightforward and ideal to complete an accredited course from the ACWA, the Skills Assessing Authority, for community workers. Number six, teaching and education courses. Although this field has not been included in the Priority Migration Skilled Occupation List, or PIMSOL, it's still in demand in Australia. A university qualification is required to work as a teacher in Australia. Teachers are in demand in the following occupations. Early childhood, pre-primary school, primary school teachers, secondary school teachers. Typically, students who graduate in teaching and education will be eligible for a skills assessment with the AITLS. English requirements are important. English is exempted if you complete at least four years full-time study in higher education in an English-speaking country. Otherwise, it requires at least IELTS 7s in reading and writing and IELTS 8s in speaking and listening. There is no job requirement for skills assessment, but you may need a job in order to secure a state nomination for the 190 or 491. Number five, social work courses. If you are the kind of person who likes helping and engaging with other people, this is a career that might be for you. You may choose to do a Bachelor of Social Work or a Masters of Social Work for entry into the occupation of social worker. Social workers are currently on the medium and long-term strategic list, the MLTSSL. English language requirements 
are always an issue for social work graduates. It requires seven in the IELTS for each band. And this is a relatively high requirement. Social work is getting much more popular in relation to securing permanent residency because it's strong position on the list. However, there are a lot of prerequisites to study masters of social work in Australia. Certain universities may have some concessions. Please speak to our staff to help you choose the best pathway for social work to PR in Australia. If you are interested, you should start with studying it in a bachelor degree. Number four, engineering professionals. Australia has high demand for engineers in various fields, including civil engineering, chemical engineering, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, and petroleum engineering. Many universities offer a bachelor, master's or PhD level for engineering courses. Most engineering occupation are listed on Australia's medium term list. Engineering students will have a maximum option for skilled visas and employer sponsored programs. Skills assessment is not a big problem after graduating in Australia from engineering. The most popular engineering professions for permanent residency are civil engineering, mining engineers, and mechanical engineers. These engineering professionals have higher employer prospects in Australia. Number three, IT and computer courses. There is a long-term demand for IT security and database management with a boom in technology in Australia. Many big organisations in Melbourne and Sydney are even willing to offer an employer sponsorship for a TSS 482 visa if you're not eligible for state nomination. However, studying IT in a regional area is a better choice for the permanent residency pathway. The fields you may choose to study include cybersecurity specialists, software engineers, software and application programmers, and ICT business analysts. Skills assessment for IT graduates in Australia will either need a professional year or one year of work experience. However, with the more flexibility in IT work, you can get an attractive job offer from anywhere in Australia. Studying IT in regional area will give you the best way to try get permanent residency in Australia. Number two, commercial cookery or chef courses. You may be thinking, why is being a cook or chef sometimes seen as a rather humble profession number two on the list? The reason is, is because there is always a shortage of cooks and chefs in Australia, and therefore there's jobs available and there's positions available for state sponsorship and employer sponsorship. If you're interested in cooking, you may look at doing a certificate in hospitality, especially to become a chef. This course usually involves compulsory vocational placement, which exposes students to real life work experience. Most of the placements are paid for work. However, the most popular pathway is a two year package, which includes commercial cookery and also a diploma in hospitality. You will be able to get access to the temporary graduate 485 visa, and you may choose to do the job ready program to get a positive skills assessment. Skills assessments for chefs require a job ready program, which usually involves a work placement or job for 12 months. So here we are, number one in the list of the best occupations and the best courses for Australian PR. Number one is nursing. In this pandemic, we can clearly see that registered nurses have been in a huge demand. They've been prioritised for a permanent residency pathway through the 190, and they've also been given a lot of sponsorship through the 491 in most states. Nursing is one of the most desired courses and has a high prospect of getting a job and also for getting Australian permanent residency. In the last financial year, ending in June 2021, registered nurses have the highest number of skilled workers who have their skilled visas. English requirements for being a registered nurse is relatively high, but reasonable for a worker in the health industry. An English language result through the IELTS test of at least seven in each band is required for a registered nurse. 
So that's the end of today's video about the top eight courses to study for Australian PR in 2022. As usual, YouTube prefers videos with more likes. Please like this video and hit subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below or send us an email. Thanks for watching.